Hey there, welcome back. I hope you are liking the videos on the intercompany setup in S4 HANA. And this is one of the videos in the same series. Please do find out the playlist to access all the videos on the intercompany setup. And this is a premium member or the member exclusive video. And this discusses about setting up the IDOC. So we'll discuss about the configurations that are required to set up the IDOC in order to post the vendor invoice in the intercompany setup. If you are watching this video, you are already a premium member of the channel and thank you for contributing for our work. It really helps us to prepare many such videos. So let's jump into the video. So after this, there is some other setting on the SD side. So let us go to SPRO. Here under SPRO, let us go to Sales and Distribution. Under this, billing, intercompany billing, here we have automatic postings to supplier account. So here we are telling that what is the supplier that the system should use in order to post, in order to generate the vendor invoice. So let us go to assign supplier. Under this, we are going to give what is the logical address and what is the destination system for which this is to be posted. So let us select. A new entry. The logical address is the combination of the company code, which is the sending company code, and the intercompany customer. So, in this case, in the sending company code is AC00, and the intercompany customer is ACS AC20. But we should always ensure that the customer number is having 10 characters. So, if there is if your number is less than 10, then append zeros to it to ensure it is 10. So the total logical address is always going to be 14 characters. So if you see here, AC00 is the four characters of company code. And after that, we are having 10 characters of, sorry, 10 characters of the intercompany customer. And here we are having the destination, the receiving company, which is AC20. And the supplier created here is ACS. AC00. Here you need not give any leading zeros because the system is automatically going to fetch it from the business partners. It is having some check table in the background. So it is giving the search results as well. So this is the supplier. So this is how we need to create a logical destination or a logical address for the supplier. Go back. And the next thing that we need to do is to activate account assignment. So if you double click this, for the billing type, we need to enable the output type active account assignment. So CBST is the billing type that we are using it. So it is enabled by default, but if not, you enable it for this billing type. If you are using any other billing type for intercompany billing document, then enable that for that billing type. Now, one more setting from the SD side is to maintain the condition records for the output type RD04. So, if you go back, if you recap a little bit, while we were creating or while we were seeing the output procedure, there we are having two condition types RD00 and RD04. We said that we need to maintain condition record for RD04 so that the system finds a value for that and generates an output of type RD04. So the transaction code to maintain condition records is VB31. Here output type is RD04. Hit enter. And it is asking what is the sales organization. AC00 is the sales organization. What is the customer? It is ACS. AC20 is the customer. And what is the function? The partner function. We said BP which is bill to party. And what is a partner? You can leave this as blank. And here we have the medium of transmission. This is going to be 6, which is EDI, because we want to trigger an IDOC, right? And this is going to be dispatch time. This, let us say it as keep it immediately. So instead of uh, doing it as a periodic job, we can keep it as 4. But if you want this to be triggered at a regular batch jobs, like every one hour or something, then you can have a periodic scheduled job but I am going to keep it as send immediately and the language is English. Save it. 
So because I have maintained a condition record for this RD04 for this customer, the system is going to check whether a condition record is available or not when a billing document is created and if an appropriate condition record is found for the combination of the sales organization and the customer for which billing document is created, then that billing document will be later on converted into an IDOC. That is what this condition maintenance or condition record maintenance says. Now there are some more settings on the MM side. So let us go back to SPRO under this. Let us go to material management. Here we are having logistics invoice verification. This is on the inbound side now. Here we are having electronic data interchange EDIs. And under this we have something called as program parameters. So enter program parameters. Here we need to tell what is the intercompany vendor, what is the partner type. Because once the IDOC is received onto the recipient client, which is a destination port that we have created, the system is going to check whether there is an entry here, which is an EDI parameter available in the MM configuration for that particular partner type and partner number and the company code. Partner type is LI. If you remember in WE20, while we were creating partner profiles, we have created a partner profile KU for the intercompany customer and LI for intercompany vendor. So in this case, it is vendor. So we are going to take a new entry. Partner type is LI. And what is the partner number? Partner number here is the intercompany vendor. So in this case, it is ACS AC00. And company code, we are having AC20 as the company code because this is the recipient company code. Here we are telling what is the document type that the system should use in order to post that vendor invoice. It is KR and credit memo is KG because if you are posting any credit memo using that or if you are cancelling the billing document, then that is going to trigger a credit memo, etc. So now save it. Now there are a few more settings. So, first thing is let us go to OBCA. In OBCA as well, we need to maintain the partner type for vendor. So, I will maintain it as LI and partner is ACS AC20. Sorry, AC00, this is the intercompany vendor and the company code name in the invoice is going to be AC20 and this is AC20. So, this is one entry that we need to maintain on the receiving side. And the second thing is OBCB. OBCB is the transaction code where we need to maintain what is the intercompany purchase expense GL account for the combination of the vendor. So this is the partner type LI and this is the vendor and this is the company code in which the intercompany vendor invoice is being created. So hit enter. Here click on new entry and enter the material here. The material is ACS underscore sports car. This is the material for which we are going to trigger the invoice and the text for this one is let us maintain it as something as sports car or something. I think this is the material text in MM03. Let us also check that. Yeah, this is the description of the material. So we can maintain the same thing here. And here I am going to give the GL account. So I have created one primary cost element. So this is my charts of account ACS. Or let us say I'll choose by company code. So I have created this expense 10, which is intercompany purchase expense, and give the company code as AC20 and save it. One more thing is OBCD. In OBCD, I'm going to maintain the combination of tax types whenever I'm receiving any. IDOC. So in the billing document, you will have a certain tax code. For that output tax code, what should be the input tax code is what we are going to ma map here. Otherwise, the system will not identify what is the right tax code that it should pick in order to process the vendor invoice. So for that reason, we are going to maintain a mapping here. So here we are going to say what is the output tax type and what is the corresponding input tax type for that. Hit on new entries. Partner type is LI 
and partner is ACS, AC00. Tax type is always going to be VAT. I am using zero tax type, so I am going to keep it as zero. Country is IN, and here I am going to maintain it as A0. A0 is my input tax code, or sorry, output tax code. So for A0 output tax code, I am going to keep it as zero percent tax rate on the inbound because A0 is a zero percent tax code in my billing document. So these are the settings that we need to do on the IDOC side. So once this setup is ready, then we can process the billing document. So I hope you have found this video useful. If so, please do like it, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And as I have mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have explained the entire end-to-end -end setup of intercompany in S4 HANA in a series of videos and I will be posting these videos on every Saturday on this channel. And the configuration videos are exclusively available for the premium members of the channel. And please do subscribe to the channel. Please join the channel. Become a premium member if you want to get access to the configuration videos. However, all the transaction data videos and the master data creation videos are available for everyone on this channel. So I hope you really find these videos useful. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.